Well, very, very numb right now. Um, don't have really a opening statement for you. That was a difficult game, difficult uh, set of emotions. Uh, the finality of it is uh, you know, how many seasons you coach, you don't, you don't master what it feels like for the season to come to an end. So you just deal with it and work your way through it. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Questions? When you do maybe get a second to just step back and evaluate the season with the regional championship and all that, how do you think that evaluation will go? Well, the only thing I was able to share with the kids in a brief huddle was to not let the, the empty feeling and the numbness that we have right now that we just competed through for the last three hours um, be the lasting memory of this team and what they've done for the last four months. Um, that perspective at some point will be allowed and encouraged and, and it's real. For four months, whatever, February, March, April, May, did a lot of great things on the field together. Uh, this tournament, we simply did not have our rhythm or um, we weren't able to put winning baseball together in, in either game. But right now, the disappointment, the hurt, the embarrassment, all the things that our kids are feeling is, is overwhelmingly strong. Um, later, there'll be a lot of moments to be proud of. And uh, I hope they'll cherish those. They were a, a very fine team. Uh, I mentioned they won a, a share of the Big 12 regular season and had a lot of exciting moments. So uh, it'll take time, but it'll, it'll uh, be something they're able to look back on and be proud of. Josh, I'm not trying to be cute or anything, but you got a one nothing lead. You got the home run from Nolan, tri typical Nolan type shot. You're up one nothing. What did what did you see in the fourth inning? I mean, what what could you guys see from the dugout with with Warren? With what was going on with him? Um, well, I, I think if you, if you're referring to the the rally they put together in the fourth, I think right. the kid hit a, a home run on a fastball. And then the next kid, I want to say, hit an 0-0 breaking pitch out. So they kind of they kind of attacked us there. And then uh, I believe my recall is not perfect. Strike on, out on pass ball. The exact yeah recollection of that inning, but you know they they made an adjustment in the fourth and, and got some balls on the barrel and got them elevated. And then obviously you know with their bullpen as good as it is, you find yourself down and then you have to start to to scratch and claw with the infield in and try to prevent runs. You know. That one inning was tough. Nothing we could we could not collect an out. Balls were finding holes. They were hitting them on the barrel. We just could not collect an out. It was one of those innings where, literally, no matter what we went to, tried to do, or whatever, we we, we could not stop the um, the momentum that they had built in that inning. Very difficult inning. So, you know, they're a good hitting team. Um, they're an excellent team. They're difficult to pitch to, and uh, yeah, today they were simply too much. Coach Holiday, what, what made their offense so explosive? What made their offense so explosive? Uh, I, I think up and down their lineup, they didn't really give us any any um, quick, easy outs. Every at bat was a grind. Um, one young man had a, you know, he probably had a record-setting day there, you know, three, a three-homer game, nine home, nine RBI. So they just had a lot of guys in good spots with the bat, and they're good. They're a good club. They're strong, and uh, they're well coached. You know, just yeah, they're they're a good deep lineup. They don't give you any cheap outs. Every every guy in the lineup will fight you for it. You mentioned not letting this game kind of affect their views on the whole season, the team. Is that kind of a similar message to the, to the fan base? Well, I mean, obviously anyone that was at the game is disappointed today. I, I totally understand that. Um, probably disappointed, uh, yeah, in how it ended. But um, I don't think anyone will ever be satisfied until you go win the, the final game. Um, obviously, we're not proud of the, the nature of the game today. Um, but, you know... I can't sit here and be unappreciative or ungrateful for the effort of the ball club or the way they've represented us or the way they played at numerous stretches during the season. Um, but a disappointing finish, sure. But, I mean, again, everyone has the right to view of the team and the season in whichever way they wish. Uh, I will always uh, view this team through uh, all the good things that they did and all the moments that made us proud. And, sure, we're all going to have a we're all going to have a scar from this, no question. I mean, there's just no way around that. But it doesn't um, – if the only way you um, can celebrate and appreciate a club is simply by the final result of the last game, 
should be a lot of empty seasons in a lot of people's hearts. So I hope they would have a bigger view of the club and appreciate all the effort that went into it. Mark, what do you think you'll, in the team, you know, come to, to maybe think about this season or think about the things that you guys did uh, in these next few days? Yeah, I mean, next few days, everyone kind of disappears, you know? Um, everyone leaves and you come in the locker room, there's an empty locker, but this team's special to me. I mean, I've, I've got, I wouldn't even call it the team, this is my family. Um, the past year, or ever so months we've been together, we've all, We've grown close together. Um, I've met guys from different states. Um, I've met guys from Canada. I've met guys that I never thought I'd meet before. And some of those guys became my best friends. And so, I mean, forget the game. You know, the game is what it is. We lost by 14 runs. Shit happens, you lose games. Um, but that doesn't define this program. That one game doesn't define this club. It definitely doesn't define me. It's, it's emotional. I mean, everyone kind of leaves, but we've all grown close. and. Um, we got a bunch of good men that we ain't, we're not going to hang our heads. I know it's not an individual game, but I thought, as I was sitting there watching it, I thought your home run late in the game was a statement. Kind of a statement of who Rock Reggio is about. Hey, I'm going to go up there, I'm going to get my hit, I'm, I'm going to take my licks, try and come up with something. Is that accurate? I think um, I could say that for every single guy on this team. The way uh, we've been programmed, um, the way we have trained the way Josh has installed into our brain is you don't give up to the final out. And so I, mean, I went up there and just competed pitch for pitch, and as did every single guy, even though we were down by 14 runs, 13 runs, however many we were down. We didn't give up, and the result's not what we wanted, but um, I left it out on the field. It's what I, what I wanted to do. It, it started here and it, it ended here, so um, just wanted to show everyone, the community, um, the team that we don't give up, I don't give up. And that's kind of just a uh, reflection of our head coach because he, he's made us fighters. And um, yeah, we lost, but we, we didn't give up. And it didn't go our way, but we'll be all right. Anything else for Coach Jake?